What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Malachi chapter 1 to chapter 2 verse 9. If you are studying this chapter, I am going to give you a breakdown of what this chapter is telling you about, give you an introduction. So get your journals out so you can make so you can make journal entries. So every time you come to this chapter, you can know what it breaks down to, what it tells you to do, what God is trying to teach you, and the lessons to be learned in this chapter. So get ready. Let's get into this video. So um, this chapter is broken down into two parts. And what you'll see in two parts is a charge, charge number one, doubting God's love. This is covered in chapter one, verses one to five. So when you go to, when you go through all this, you'll see one to five, that'll, that'll clear up that first charge for you. The next one is, um, chapter one, verse six to chapter two, verse nine. What are you going to see in this is that second charge, dishonoring God's name. You're going to be able to read through this and you're going to be able to um, understand what God is saying going all the way down to nine. Okay. So right about here, it'll be able to tell you exactly what to look for. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this chapter and what it entails and what it's about. One of the absolute essentials in a believer's life is to understand God's great love. This understanding must be more than a dim awareness, more than some vague concept of God's love for all people. Rather, it must be a deep-seated experience of God's personal love and understanding of how much he loves you and I, each one of us personally. We must understand that God's love, he deeply cares for us and that he absolutely wants the best for us and therefore cares in immeasurably about what we do and how we live. It is this fundamental knowledge, personal experience, and absolute assurance that makes a strong believer. In the same way, if we long to be his strong and faithful servants, it is it is absolutely critical to understand and to personally experience the Lord's great love for us. The opportunity or the opposite is also true. If we doubt God's love, his care and concern, we will be greatly weakened. We may even fall prey to, to the false notions that God cares little about what we do or whether we live for him or obey his word or not. Also, to doubt God's love is to doubt his reality, his very essence and being. This is because doubting God's love is also to doubt his word. For the long for the Lord clearly tells us that he loves us. Scripture teaches teaches us this in no uncertain terms. So too does the passage before us right now. The opening chapter of Malachi states emphatically that God's love for his people, no doubt about it. Not only does he love us, but he has proven it time and time again, many, many different ways. Malachi goes even further and spells out a devastating result of doubting God's love. The prophet recounts how doubt quickly spirals and spins out of control. And when it does, it leads to disobedience. And disobedience brings dishonor to God's holy name. This is the critical message of the passage before us today, laid out into two charges. So let me give you those charges and put your bullet points in your, your journal. And it goes this. The first charge is doubting God's love, covered in verses chapter 1, verses 1 to, one to 5. The second charge is dishonoring God's name covered in chapter 1, verse 6, to chapter 2, verse 9. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the, th hit the thumbs up button and, and like this video. If you type in the comments, amen, I'll give you a personal message. If you have any questions in the comments, put them in the comments below. And if you want a full interpretation of this, type in my name in YouTube and go to the live section and watch the video on Malachi chapter 1 to chapter 2, verse 9. And you'll get a full interpretation of what this chapter is all about. I want to thank you for watching. God bless you and God bless your family. And I'll see you in the next video.